Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is just a video about some of the books that I've written uh, just to encourage you, just to inform you. Uh, you may have heard of me on uh, Facebook, uh, you may have heard of me on YouTube and you may be interested in hearing about uh, different books that I've written. Uh, so I'll post the link uh, underneath this video to my Amazon page where you can uh, search for the books but I'll start with my first book that I wrote and uh, that was called The Parables of Jesus Made Simple and uh, that's a book uh, I initially sat down and uh, listed uh, had a I searched on uh, Google uh, Google's handy um, searched on Google for the parables of Jesus uh, to to be listed and I found a list with uh, 54 parables of Jesus uh, that were listed in alphabetical order and I got the list and I simply started to turn my video camera on and uh, at that stage I had a video camera not a webcam and uh, I turned my video camera on and started to record uh, 10 minute videos back in those days uh, YouTube had a limit of 10 minutes on each video uh, so I did a 10 minute video on each of the parables of Jesus Christ uh, I had that transcribed uh, by uh, Filipinos and uh, and edited by Filipinos and uh, it still had a few uh, mistakes in it uh, when it's finished uh, the finished edition on on uh, Amazon still has a few mistakes on it that uh, people find um, but I'm very happy with the book um, I've, I've thought of uh, reviewing the book uh, and I've started uh, it's just a lot of work uh, to update the book so that's uh, one of my books the parables of Jesus made simple um, the second book that I wrote uh, I actually did the videos for the second book first of all and uh, and ended up uh, doing uh, the second lot of videos for the parables book and then uh, made the parables book the first time. I had a friend who said he'd help finance me uh, make my first book and uh, he didn't want to do one on the prophetic, uh, he wanted to do one on the parables so I did the parables one first. The second book uh, that I published was called The Prophetic Supernatural Experience experience and uh, it's a book about uh, it's a book about the prophetic it's a book about uh, the life calling of a prophet and what it's like to be called as a prophet and uh, walk in the prophetic office uh, it's certainly helpful for people who are interested in the gift of prophecy and interested in knowing uh, what prophecy is about but it would be certainly interesting for someone who's been prophesied that they're called to be a prophet it's a uh, fundamentals uh, book it's a book of uh, basic concepts of uh, the prophetic it can get deep at times but uh, it's essentially uh, pretty easy and easy to read and light-hearted um, I wrote that with another uh, person who's called to be a prophet and uh, we uh, wrote it in tandem. I'd write, I wrote the whole book and then uh, sent it to her and she commented on each of my chapters. Uh, she had uh, a post in each of the chapters too so it makes a good combination, a good combination book. So that was uh, published in, uh, I'll just see here, that was published in 2012. Um, then the next book um, I uh, made was, uh, looks like it was Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple. Um, and uh, that was, uh, that was produced in, uh, um, 2014 and Prophetic Evangelism Made Simple is uh, simply a book about how to uh, approach strangers in the streets of your city and deliver prophetic words over them so it's a book about getting the right mindset get in the uh, right situation and the right mindset about approaching strangers having the right uh, understanding and knowledge about uh, what you're doing 
having the love and the compassion built in you that would encourage you just to go up to a stranger and give them prophetic word. Uh, most of the teaching of the book is about the mind that you need and the, the uh, sort of uh, character that you need to walk out uh, to evangelize prophetically. Uh, it does talk about how to evangelize prophetically and I do get into the technical part of it too. Uh, but it's a really encouraging book book and uh, I wish uh, that many people would download it. I make it free uh, once a month and uh, I wish uh, many people would download it and, uh, and learn how to evangelize people prophetically because uh, it's a real skill and uh, it's something that uh, I wish the whole church would be activated in um, and uh, practice. Um, so uh, that uh, uh, that's the the book. If uh, if uh, you're looking on uh, Amazon, that's what the book looks like. It's it, it's meant to be uh, God uh, putting His hand down to man and uh, being prophetically. Uh, touching man with something he says. Another book I wrote was uh, Your Identity in Christ and that's a copy of the book. That's what it looks like and it goes through uh, 19 characteristics of uh, who we are in Jesus. Um, you are perfect, you are holy and blameless, you are powerful, you are heirs with Christ, you are chosen, royal, holy and special. You are inhabitants of a new kingdom, you are righteous, peaceful and joyful. You are glorified, you are a carrier of God's glory, you are seated in heavenly places, you are a son, you are sinless, you are loved, you are a carrier of the kingdom, you are partners with God in his supernatural and divine nature, you are a citizen of heaven, you are a new creation, not a remodeled creation, you are crucified but alive in Christ, you are a king and a priest. So that's uh, uh, subject, subject uh, titles of uh, of this book and it's just a short book and uh, but uh, it's powerful. I've read the book uh, four times uh, myself uh, after it's been published and um, it's something that I still have to remind myself of. Uh, it's still got uh, stuff in it that uh, I need to take on board. Another book that I've uh, published this year is called Writing and self-publishing Christian non-fiction. That's a book on how to write a book, uh, how to write a Christian non-fiction book. So it's not about writing fiction, it's r about writing the truth and a truthful uh, sort of stuff, uh, not uh, fictional stories, not a novel. And uh, that's just a fundamental book on how to uh, do the process of uh, writing a book and getting a book together. Just things that uh, some people might think that they want to write a book and have got no understanding of how they'd start and no understanding of what they'd do. Um, and this is just a simple book on how to uh, get that all together. So uh, there's another book I've written which is a quite controversial book. Uh, though I've had no controversial reviews yet, I've just had reviews from friends. Uh, that's called Great Cloud of Witnesses Speak. And uh, in that book I interviewed 19 saints uh, that came down from heaven and were interviewed uh, uh, by me and, and I spoke, uh, they spoke through me uh, to the camera, had it transcribed and edited. Uh, and so they had a message from heaven and a message uh, to the contemporary Christian about Jesus and about the Christian life and what uh, is a successful Christian life and what's a good uh, uh, what's something God really desires in the Christian life and what's heaven like. It had 10 standard questions in the book and uh, you can um, look at the first chapter at the look inside feature uh, on Amazon. You can click on the book and look inside and you can look at the 10 questions 
uh, that I asked King David and, uh, and you can rest assured that those 10 questions are asked to all the saints uh, in the book and uh, it's a very encouraging book. Uh, it's a long book. Um, it's over 300 pages uh, in length, I think, um, and, uh, and it's uh, very uh, inspiring and uh, encouraging to read. Um, I haven't read that five times. I've read that about three times, um, and uh, it's just so much to read. So that's well worth the money, uh, uh, buying the book, and it's uh, great to hear from uh, people who've gone on before us. A book, uh, one of my favourite books uh, that I've written is called Kingdom Nuggets, a handbook for Christian living. And uh, that's essentially, uh, I think it's 77 uh, short nuggets, like one page, uh, one or two page uh, nuggets of uh, biblical truth uh, that uh, comes out. It, it spends uh, quite a bit of time talking about Jesus' life on earth, uh, extra biblical stuff, stuff about Jesus' life that isn't necessarily in the Bible. And, um, and that's uh, stuff that uh, he shared with me through Revelation. Uh, that's also available on Audible, so you can uh, uh, download that book uh, on Audible and listen to that book, and uh, it's a really good book. Um, that's a prophetic supernatural experience. That's what the book looks like. It's uh, fairly thick. Um, it's um, 325 pages, so um, there's quite a lot to that book. Um, so uh, Kingdom Nuggets is just one of my favourites. I think I've listened to it um, about uh, three or four times. Uh, I think it goes for over three hours, uh, and uh, I've listened to it about three or four times uh, as I've, I've been surfing on Facebook. Um, another book that uh, I wrote, uh, which was uh, a hard book to write, and uh, uh, I, I originally uh, recorded uh, videos for this book and uh, had it transcribed and edited, uh, but uh, it's called He's Redeeming Love, and it's a memoir of my life up until uh, age 46, and uh, all the suffering and the pain and uh, turmoil that I went through uh, growing up to become who I am today. And uh, it's a sad and painful and poignant, uh, transparent look at my life. Uh, it's not for the faint-hearted, uh, for people who um, would be afraid of hearing about sin or hearing about troubled lives or uh, someone who's really struggled with uh, addictions. Um, uh, it might be not a good read, but uh, if you read the reviews on the page, uh, you, you'll be forewarned and uh, you'll understand uh, what the book's about. Um, a recent book that uh, I'm just going through the page of all my books. Um, a recent book that I've written this year is called Coping with Your Pain and Suffering, and it's a it's like an official uh, it's like an official apology to people who were sick and suffering and have had uh, people who uh, believe in faith healing and believe in healing, which I believe in too, but um, had pushy pushy people. Uh, who believe in healing, praying over them and saying that um, they lack faith to be healed. And uh, they're not only hurt by their illness and uh, have gone through pain and suffering with their illness and continue to suffer, but they've also been um, mocked and sort of abused by people who uh, sometimes have good motives uh, to heal people, but uh, their attitudes can suck when they don't see uh, results. Um, and so I'm a person who's suffered with mental illness for 20 years, and uh, I know about uh, pain and suffering and uh, going through hard times. And uh, this is a book... Uh, of comfort to people who are having a hard time and going through a hard time. So um, it's an encouraging book for them and encouraging um, book for people who've got loved ones who are suffering, uh, for them to read, to uh, get some understanding about how their loved ones suffer. Um, 
Another book I released this year uh, is called Living for Eternity, Life with Eternal Rewards in Mind. And that's a book about uh, living for eternity. It's a, it's about a book about uh, living your life in such a way that uh, you build up rewards for eternity. It's, a, it's about concentrating on the life that you live and uh, becoming set apart and getting called a <laughs> called away from the lust of this world and the love of this world and instead focused on the kingdom and kingdom benefits and kingdom ideals and kingdom passions and uh, building up your rewards in heaven. It's about um, storing treasure in heaven and how to do that and uh, what sort of attitude to have to have the attitude that uh, Jesus required of us um, and uh, it's a powerful message and it's a message that uh, I wish everyone would uh, come to grips with and I wish everyone could understand because uh, it's uh, an exciting message. Um, and uh, a book that's just uh, being released uh, now um, and uh, in the coming week uh, is uh, uh, on on Kindle is called Jesus Speaking Today um, and uh, its uh, subtitle is Book Inspired by Jesus Calling and Jesus Today. Um, so Jesus Speaking Today is um, a collection of uh, 67 uh, posts uh, that Jesus speaks in the first person that he speaks to us about 67 different subjects uh, that he wants to talk about and uh, it's a devotional book it's a book that will touch you it's a book that uh, is uh, about uh, the um, like prophetic words of Jesus uh, for people and uh, not every one of them will touch you as much but uh, but uh, there should be a fair collection of them that uh, touch you and hopefully um, when it comes out on Kindle I'll have it for 99 cents uh, so a lot of people can access it and, uh, and uh, have it available to them uh, for a cheap price. Um, I've got a, a book um, uh, that uh, I'm going to be working on that will come out in the next couple of months called uh, My Radical Encounters with Angels and that will be a book about uh, uh, some of the major encounters I've had with angels through my life. So that's an uh, uh, overview of uh, the books that uh, I've got uh, currently. Um, I've currently got uh, 10, uh, 11 books uh, if you count Jesus speaking today um, and uh, and so I'm, I'm just looking up to uh, check them off to see that uh, I've got every one of them so I said the parables of Jesus uh, the prophetic advances and made simple three your identity with Christ four writing and self-publishing Christian non-fiction five Great Cloud of Witnesses Speak 6, Prophetic Supernatural Experience 7, Kingdom Nuggets 8, He's Redeeming Love 9, Coping with Pain and Suffering 10, Living for Eternity, yeah, so, so there's at least 11 there. And uh, so I pray that uh, this has uh, informed you and uh, I pray that uh, you might be able to... Uh, Find a book of mine that you like and uh, read the book that uh, I've written and uh, uh, post a review about it and then write to me and uh, give me a shout out and tell me that you wrote a review on it. Um, I always really love reading reviews of books that I've written and, um, and it always encourages me. I accept the bad reviews, they don't encourage me. Um, so. Um, be blessed and I pray that this uh, video has helped you make a decision. God bless.